Hello, I'm Scott Smith. I'm Tanya Smith. Welcome to the Turpentine Creek Podcast. I'm one of the staff zoologists at Turpentine Creek. We just brought Ariel to the vet. She's a, a 19-year-old cougar that's been at the refuge for most of her life since she was probably three or four years old. When Ariel was at the uh, refuge, we actually sedated her to bring her over to the clinic, um, knocked her out, put her in a tent taxi carrier over here. We got here. We had to give her a little bit more of the, the sedative just to keep her down completely to be able to do the rest of the examination on her. Um, but we normally have, anytime we do any kind of examinations on the animals, we do have them sedated and knocked out so that keeps everybody safe. Um, we always have leashes around their necks and on their feet to make sure nobody gets hurt. That is the number one priority. Even for our vets who work with animals all the time, making sure they, keep, they stay safe and nobody gets hurt. Um, she actually has just been kind of feeling a little down the last few days. She's uh, kind of got a little bit of a snotty nose and doesn't want to eat and hasn't really wanted to take her medication. So we brought her in just to check her out and see how she's doing. Um, Dr. Ron Eby, who's our, our primary vet, um, took some blood, got some blood levels for her, listened to her heart, did a full examination. They're even taking x-rays right at the moment um, to see if they can see anything that's going on and, and hopefully we'll get a, a good diagnosis and see what we can do from there. All right, we uh, basically finished the appointment um, after checking her over, doing her blood work, doing some x-rays. We basically found out she has slightly elevated kidney levels, which for a 19-year-old cougar is not unusual. Um, the x-rays came out all good, um, that all looked normal, so the vet basically recommended just keeping her on the same uh, regimen of, of antibiotics that we have been for um, the congestion and kind of the snotty nose and try to get her um, cured from that and we'll bring her back to the refuge and basically do the same thing we're doing, let her back out in her habitat and let her uh, keep going the way she is and just monitor um, her eating and, and uh, drinking and everything for the kidney problems, but other than that, we, she should be all set to go back home. Hi, I'm Pat Quinn, and our cat of the week this week is Goober, our monkey. Goober is a rhesus macaque monkey, and they're from India, I believe. He's been here since 1993. He's going to be 23 years old in October. He came from Oklahoma, and he had two previous owners before he came to us. In both cases, he bit someone, which made them realize that he wasn't a very good pet. So we've had him since 1993, and I've been here for 11 years. It took us seven years before Goober would be nice to me. Um, he's not really very friendly with most people. He likes Emily. Uh, he's grown to like me because I've just been very, very patient with him. I would sit with him every day at my lunch hour for a long, long time, and it took him seven years before he would be nice to me. And what he's doing right now is he's grooming me. Uh, it's what they do in their wild. It's their social interaction. He's grooming to make sure I don't have any bugs or any fleas on me. And he'll probably do this for the next half hour unless I walk away. So if you want to come see Goober, he's here every day. Uh, he's a, a favorite character for people to see. And he's actually the boss of the compound. Get him! Good job! You got him! You got him! Good boy!